Hey guys, let's talk about the cabin composite. The cabin composite is going to be your first composite that you are going to complete and submit for a classwork grade. So we really want to make sure that you do a really good job on this. And again, if you have any questions, ask. Um, we're here to help you and teach you how to use Photoshop. So um, the first thing that you're going to do, again, as always, is do a file new 8 by 10 inches. Um, resolution 150, color mode is RGB, white, and we're just going to hit create so we can get started. We do a command O to open. You're going to go into your Photoshop photos, and this time you're going to go into the folder that's titled Cabin Composite. The first um, file that you're going to grab is Greenfield. When you open up Greenfield, you're going to do a Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command W to close your window, Command V as in Victor to paste it in. Um, just as a friendly reminder, if you go to the back of your Photoshop packet, there is a handout. It is literally called Cabin Composite, and that is literally where I am getting um, all of this information from. And I will also attach this PDF in your Schoology um, assignment. So once we put the green field here, again, we're going to do a Command-T. Make sure your aspect ratio is locked. Um, and I am suggesting that you just change this to 250% by 250% and hit check mark when you like it. Awesome. Then we're going to do Command O to open. You are going to pick your flowers. And for this one, I want you to use your rectangular marquee tool to select a part of the flower. So we go over here. If you're not on your rectangular marquee, you just want to select it. And then you're just going to drag and grab a box of the flowers that you like. And again, a Command C to copy close out of that flowers, command V to paste it in, and I'm going to put my flower down here. As I talked about in another um, thing, we could you could do a command V and paste in another one, and command V to paste in another one, or you could even do a command J to copy that layer and move it over, command J to copy that layer and move it over, command J to copy that layer, and move it over. If you are happy with your string of flowers, what you can do is we can turn off the eyeball for the green field and turn off the eyeball for the background layer. And then just those flowers are there. So we could do a shift command E to merge those visible layers. And as you can see now, um, those flowers are stuck together for forever. If we don't like what we did, you can, as always, do a Command Z to step backward or an Edit step backward right up here. Edit, undo, edit, undo, and edit, undo, or just um, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. That's going to take you back in time if you make any mistakes. Then we're going to do a Command O to open. You're going to open your green sun. We are going to use um, the elliptical marquee. So just come on over to your rectangle and choose elliptical marquee. And then you're just going to click and drag a nice circle around your sun. Command C to copy. Close out of that window. Command V is in Victor to paste that sun in. You can put them up top. I'm going to do a Command T and make them a little bit smaller so he fits on the page. Um, so that's about 93% by 93%. Check mark because I like it and then move it over. And then I'm just going to copy that file over and over again. So Command J, move it over. Command J, move it over. Command J, move it over. That looks good enough for me. Um, again, I might want to stick those moons together. So I'll turn off the eyeballs for the other layers. Just the moons are on. So sh shift command E to merge those visible layers. And I'll take my move tool and sort of straighten it out. I'll put my eyeballs back on again. Awesome. Next thing, step number six, the dogs. Command O to open. I'm going to grab the dogs. And it says here on my list for step number six, use lasso to select a few dogs. So I'm going to grab my, I'm going to command zero so it fills my screen. I'll grab my lasso, which is here. 
and I'm just going to select some of these dogs. You can see the background of the dog layer is transparent. All those uh, little check marks mean that it's transparent. So I'm going to select some of these dogs. And then Command C to copy, Command W to close my window, Command V to paste in my dogs. I'll move my dogs to just have them sitting in the grass. Again, Command O to open, step number seven, open the cabin. So I'm going to grab my cabin. Step number seven, open the cabin, is saying to use the polygonal lasso. So I'm going to go in and grab the polygon, and I'm going to click and drag a line. And drag a line and drag a line and drag as I go around the cabin with my polygon I'll grab the um, chimney also and match it up click click if I don't like my selection, I could do a command D to deselect. If I do love my selection, I'm going to do a command C to copy, command W to close my window, command V as in Victor to paste it in. And I will put my cabin up here on the hilltop. Step number eight, cat breeds. Command O to open. I find my cats. I open my cats. Command zero to get it to fill the screen. This time my cats are stuck against a white background, not transparent. So my suggestion is to use the magic wand to select the background. So I'm gonna come over here to the magic wand, select the white background, and then a shift command I to select the inverse. Now I have some of my cats selected. I'm going to do Command C, Command W, Command V as in Victor, and then we see lots of cats. So you can do some sort of backwards thinking with this. Um, you can grab your lasso, again, grab it, and it says uh, step number uh, on step number eight, letter D, it says use the lasso to copy and paste one cat and delete the rest, or use the eraser tool to erase the extra cats. So I'm going to just grab my lasso, hold on, I want the regular one. I'm going to just select this cat right here. I'm going to Command C, Command V this little guy onto a new layer. And then I'm going to jump back to my other cats, that layer four. You can see I'm turning on and off the eyeball. And I'm going to delete that layer of cats. My other option is here, edit. I'm going to do undo, delete layer. My other option is I can go down to my eraser tool and I can literally erase all these other cats. I will go over the eraser tool in another tutorial, but if you already know your eraser tool and you want to just erase those other cats, you can. It's another option. Again, there's lots of options. And then I'll grab my move tool. That's another way you could select the cats. Um, step number nine, merge all visible layers, shift command E. Step number 10, file, save as. So file, save as. Now this one, we are going to call it cabin composite. Give it your name so we can um, know who it belongs to. Where are you gonna save it? If you're home, you can just put it in your Google Drive. If you're in class, you can save it to the desktop and then drag it into your Google Drive. Um, as always, because we're submitting this to Schoology, you can save it as a JP, JPG, JPEG, um, and save, and OK. Um, the very last step is that you are going to open Schoology, and you can read this on number 11 on your handout. Um, open Schoology, go to the assignment page, and submit the composite, and answer the two questions in the reflection. There's two questions. What do I feel most confident about in Photoshop up to this point? And what do I need to work on in Photoshop up to this point? So just make sure you answer those two questions. So to get a good classwork grade for this assignment, you're going to need to do the steps 1 through 10. And then also answer those two questions. Um, I need five good thoughts to get five points. That would be excellent work. If you have any questions, let us know. If not, um, I look forward to seeing your work and reading your reflection. Thanks.